What's up guys, my name's Collins Newey. Post Up is my stream and I'm thrilled to be bringing you guys the 2024 US Open Championships out of Griff's Bar and Billiards. We're gonna be bringing you US Open 10 ball, US Open 8 ball, US Open bank pool, and US Open one pocket straight through every day till March 16th. We're bringing it to you live from Griff's Bar and Billiards right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hey, I just wanna let you guys know, I don't treat my stream like a typical pool stream. I don't treat it like that sports broadcast model. I treat it like I'm hanging out with you guys at home in the chat, super interactive, fun, lighthearted. We get down and we have a good time. The best part is, if you don't like that style, you can just hit the mute button and enjoy some of the best pool in the world. It's basically a who's who of the best players from around the world. Either way, come check it out and let's have some fun. Yo. Oh, who do we got? Hey. Who's this? This, this is... Oh, it's so hot here. This is, yeah, get the jacket off. You're gonna want to lose the extra layer underneath too. Yeah, I'm good. Victor Zelinski. Yeah. Oh boy. You're an interesting character for me because I only started following pool closely after I started streaming. Pardon me, I'll stop chewing and then I'll finish talking, but um, you were the guy that I think it was what, like two or three years ago, you just kind of exploded onto the scene, right? You started having some good results. Oh yeah, after the COVID breakdown. Okay. Yeah, pull this in, by the way. It's gotta be nice and close for it to have a nice warm sound. Okay. So get nice and close, yeah. Yeah, the COVID shutdown. Tell me about your experience with uh, with your first few big wins. Oof. Tell me about it. It was like unexpected, you know. I, I just changed my way of like, you know, training system yeah. throughout the COVID. I mean, I practice much more alone than yeah. playing with friends or some guys. Yeah. So I learned really, really a lot that time and I think it helped me to understand some games, tactics and things like this. And so, so how old are you now? You're 20? 20, 23. 23? Okay. So you're Feder's age and you've known him for a while now, right? Uh, I think Feder is a year older than me. I think he's, it says, um, I, I don't know his birthday, but anyway. Uh, yeah, he is 2009, 2001. Yeah, yeah. But so I, I already turned 23 this year, but anyway, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. We, but we've known each other for a long, long time, like since juniors. Yeah. We played a lot uh, uh, at European Championships Youth, I mean. Yeah. A uh, couple of years ago. Yeah, so. Yeah, because I remember hearing from him because I, I met him for the first time a couple years ago uh, and we were talking and uh, you at the time had had a really good year the year before, I think it was. And he said that he like totally saw it coming. And so you're saying that you're saying that even through all the times that you played together as juniors and, and were exposed to those other good players when you were younger, it still took you that little extra drive is that what you're saying it took you that little extra different type of practice to break through is that what you're saying i mean maybe i become more mature let's say when it comes uh -huh. to training because it was like when i was a kid i mean still a kid still young but uh i was just playing pool yeah. i didn't really want to practice that much yeah it was tough for me i just wanted like you know come to the club uh, find someone and play some games like yeah. you know some small stakes but sure but you know there there wasn't much time then to practice for me and i think yeah. practicing it's also important so that's what helped me now i spent almost all the time uh, alone practicing yeah maybe sometimes like playing some top pro polish guys yeah but i'm mainly focused on practicing alone right now yeah because i think that helps me the most okay how long have you so so poland is uh is fairly large right isn't it yeah it's one of the biggest i think it's maybe in top 10 yeah, biggest countries in, in, in europe. europe right so it is geographically speaking like you know compared to the other guys that you know that we all know like you know Miesko and and you know daniel Masial now are these guys that you see regularly at home like when you were oh no but you know we are half year playing tournaments yeah so we see each other all the time yeah in the all the time okay. but yeah we are like spread it 
like in all parts of the Poland. Yeah. Uh, so I'm living in the Poznan, it's the same city as Mateusz also lives, uh -huh. uh, Babica Rodosa. Then you have uh, Wrocław where Konrad and Mieszko uh -huh. are living and capital Warsaw Wojciech is living. Uh -huh. So we are all like in different cities. But yeah, 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 yeah. Quite spread out. Yeah, interesting. Very interesting. Um, so yeah, you just started traveling. You started doing the whole circuit yeah, two to three years ago now. How are you enjoying it? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you know, sometimes it's really exhausting. Uh, but I really love playing pool. Yeah. And I just love what I'm doing. And every time when there is a big tournament, I just want to go there and play. Yeah. And see what's going to happen. Try yeah. to win it. You yeah. know, that's myself. I just love competing. This is a close one. I think the one ball got it. Yeah, probably a one ball. Yeah. Yeah, so just so you know, Victor, uh, this, the way that i stream we basically i don't say how do you say it i want to say it like uh we do whatever we want <laughs> okay so there's no pressure for you to to only talk about specific shots but then at the same time if we're at some point interacting with the chat and some situation comes up that you'd rather talk about because you find it interesting what's happening on the table we jump right into that too so it's like it's very free form treat it more like an interactive podcast with the chat you know and okay, and, and also guys. whatever curiosities you have too so so yeah i'll uh, i'll pick your brain a little bit for sure okay i'm looking forward to it i've been absolutely like thrilled to follow you as a player like for the last like year and a half as i've been getting more into following the game on a deeper level you know like following the pro circuit you know good to hear that Thank you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's uh, the way you play is very entertaining to me. You're, you're, uh, it's you know filler esque, right? You're like very good at the the shot making, and you're very uh, loose on the ball, and and you make decisions quickly, and it doesn't seem to affect your execution and stuff. And it's like it's so impressive to watch. Yeah, I always was like you know fast player. Yeah, but I think I slowed down a bit. Mm, so you slowed down a bit now yeah a bit like you know sometimes okay. i take more time for some kind of shots like you know just to avoid some stupid mistakes sure sure or oversight or, or possibly ignoring another potential yeah because sometimes you get some tricky situations where it's yeah. better to think 10 more seconds right uh take your time and make sure that you made the right decision right yeah makes sense yeah yeah. So Vitaly's been having a heck of a quarter this year. Like the last two, three months, he's been like yeah. going deep in these super tough fields. Yeah, both of the players, I think, actually are in quite good shape. Daniel recently won the Euro Tour. Right. So uh, interesting matchup coming up, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Daniel. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I know he's not <laughs> yeah, wearing but he's he's not wearing red and white right now, but he's your uh, he's your boy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think it's gonna be a really close match. Okay. My predictions nine seven for Daniel. Okay. So what we got? I think Vitaly misjudged the safety, but yeah, I don't think he was intending to make the nine ball, so I'm yeah, assuming he probably was probably trying to trying to send the one ball in this direction instead of straight down this way or something like that, or no, maybe maybe off of the other. To ball. miss the nine, the cue ball was good, but he uh, yeah hit the nine. But still, like could be worse for him. Trying to stop the rock, maybe. Does yeah, he oh, the cash. rail first and stop the rock? Oh, that's a great shot. Yeah. Little overcooked. Little overcooked. Uh, let's see if Daniel can see the right part of the one ball. Uh, that's right. The finals is a single race to 13, <coughs> guys. Single race to 13.
Man, I've been watching so much pool lately. It's it's tough for me to keep track of all the matches that that I've been uh, you know aware of and, and how everybody did in the tournaments. But but how was you played in both of the tournaments at the the Predator event, right? Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Uh, how did you uh, how did you end up faring? Uh, better to forget for me. Better I mean, to I forget. Don't want to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Uh, I reached last sixteen Vegas Open. Yeah. Lost to Fedor. Uh, didn't play actually that well. Fedor, yeah. okay. Fedor made a couple of nice outs. Lost for zero and for free. Uh, but that's all right. You, you can't win them all. Of Still, course. I got good run in Vegas Open, winning two in a row. Uh, but World Tumble, actually. Oh, that's right. At one point, you were undefeated. Did you see the list? Of matches yeah I think someone sent me this that uh, I got straight like 21 matches or 20 something like this <laughs> so absurd. yeah it's, Victor, it's, that, it's that's cool, so quite good <laughs> play good run good yeah. knock off their heads man yeah and then war temple I think like there was something wrong with my tape from the very first match with Capito but then after the second match what, what do you mean wrong with your I mean, the sound was weird. I made like a couple of sick mistakes where I couldn't find like, you know, the reason yeah. making them. And then after match with... Uh, Are you thinking that you're, it's just like some type of uh, alignment thing or like some type of mental overlook? I something? don't know. I mean, like I've never really cared that much about tip and things like this because never got problems with tip. Right. So after the match with uh, Tyler, Conrad and Mieszko, uh came to me and they told me that check your tape because the sound is really weird yeah uh so i just looked into my tape and there was some problems with the layers wow so yeah and then i went to q repair booth and one guy told me that the layers were separating yep yeah yeah so i had to change right tip uh, and you think with the new tip it was just kind of I mean, I started playing bear with, with Mustafa like until 3 1 in the second set, which I was leading. Uh. It was everything going all right, but then I missed the 8 and the following crack. I got miscue on match ball, yeah. and it was a big turnaround. Yeah. And lost in the end that match, but couldn't regroup my mind after this. Right. Because, like, you know, it's not easy when you got three easy balls, <laughs> like, you know, just make one draw shot and you're miscuing the kibble yeah oh uh, yeah so brutal, brutal. Uh, yeah let's come back to the match because right now interesting interesting with the seven ball yeah, being traffic ball. going forward i and mean then he can i think he can play with follow try to nudge play. the seven towards the corner yeah yeah uh, and the kibble of the seven to the left long rail and coming for the six ball to the left, low, lower pocket. Yeah, exactly. I like, like so. It. Exactly like this. Look at the angle he got. I mean, he's okay. As long as the cue ball is not frozen to the the rail, to the rail, he can do something. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Seems Vitaly gonna win that rack. What I usually say is this rack is over. Oh, okay. Is that Josh? No, this is. Does it even look like? Oh, you don't see him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's Victor Zelinsky. <laughs> How does your mother pronounce your name? Victor. Victor, like a hard V. Yeah, yeah, I guess, like, you know. But I know the, the Polish alphabet language is slightly different e phonetically, right? Yeah, it's because we don't have the letter V. Right. And our alphabet, we have W, and we pronounce W as uh, V in states. So, that's just the... And also the K we pronounce as C here. So, yeah, that's why, like, you know, my name... The good pronunciation is Victor not when like you know 
usually I hear it's Victor. Yeah, yeah, Victor yeah, yeah, or yeah, something yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Like no. No, no, no. <laughs> but, okay. But I understand it's not like you know your fault or all Americans. Sure, sure. You said the W is pronounced differently based on the situation. No, no. It's always a V sound. It's always a V. So you don't use the W sound at all in the Polish language, or is it pronounced no, with a different letter? No, I mean we don't have. Uh, I mean we have the special letter. It's similar to. I mean you write the L with some kind of line. Yeah. Okay. It's. Uh, it's the letter W here. Gotcha. We, get, we get like stuff to explain gotcha. it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it the makes Polish yeah, 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 alphabet yeah. and pronunciation. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just curious. Sometimes I just go when I can't I show you the letter right here. <laughs> I can see it kind of. I think with the way you were describing it, but yeah, it's uh, that's interesting. Okay. <laughs> no, don't even start to ask about the other guys' names that have like 30 consonants. <laughs> yeah Americans get fascinated by that obviously oh yeah someone yeah. Uh, wrote in the comment like which yeah it's exactly this uh, this letter which I was telling you about yep. a couple seconds before it's like this L with this line line through it yeah it's a good break by Daniel yeah when Daniel breaks like that and the, the layout is like this, especially because he's been practicing on this table for the last 10 to 20 minutes or so. Yeah, I he's saw. He's got a rhythm. Yeah, yeah, I saw his break with uh, Josh. He was breaking really, really soft, just trying to draw the cue ball. Yeah. Uh, but it works pretty well, and then, like, layouts are usually quite easy. Yeah. No clusters, nothing. Getting a decent spread, trying yeah. to control the speed on the one ball. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now people are talking about Conrad's la last name. Look at that. Look how they spelled it. <laughs> it's all nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like... Yeah. It's Conrad Justusen. Justusen. Justusen, yeah. yeah. Yeah, always people got crazy with his surname yeah get problems how to pronounce it but you know it's funny polish language is so funny with all these kind of words when you have a lot of like c z mm -hmm. it's really tough to pronounce it for foreigners yeah so does this mean that the loser of this match and finishes in fourth fourth place and the loser of the levan match finishes in third place correct Ergo, loser of SVB match finishes runner up. Correct. Oh, That's the final. Oh, Whoa. Oh. Yeah, the, the cloth on the bed of this table was replaced <coughs> this morning, actually. Oh, really? So there was a. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he actually missed the it, ball. Yeah. There's some damage to the cloth, so this is brand, brand, brand new. Balls like that don't typically tend to go unworn in cloth. 1-1, one, one, good break and run. Good break and run by Daniel. Just doing some good work. How do you say Ma Ma How do you say his last name? Macho? Macho. Macho. Because also, it's uh, instead of L, you got this W, our your American W gotcha. letter because macho yeah it's macho it's almost like macho the yeah. word macho like a macho man yeah. <laughs> the same but not yeah yeah it's like you know it just po Polish special letter I also got one in my surname actually it's like special N yeah so you got just also the line above the N it's like Zieliński, it's like more like soft N in Polish. Ah, okay. Uh, uh, it's not that big difference in pronunciation. Sure, sure, sure. Look at this break. Yeah. Unlucky kiss on the one becomes a lucky kiss on the one. Is it going to tie up with the seven? 
No tie-up on the seven, but the three balls on the other side of the table, kind of covered by the yeah, nine and ten. Yeah, he's okay with one, but really tough layout. I mean, and the four doesn't pass the eight into the yeah, top yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. I think, but there might be a combination to the side pocket three mm. ten. I'm not sure, but looks oh, like close. Oh, it looks pretty juicy to me. Even if it doesn't go, look at the gap between the three and the ten. Might just be enough. Yeah, that might be the best decision. Playing a draw, long, long, short rail. It's a pretty sizable gap, actually, too. <coughs> yeah, I mean, so it's, it's, it's right. you've got options. It's not easy to make position for the free ball to the bottom right. Yeah, bottom right. But this is pretty natural if, if you slug it. He didn't oh. slug it. Oh. I thought he would have hit it. A little harder than that. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think he played for the combination. I think he's on the bad side of it though, because the ten three, the three ten is, I, th I believe, if I'm not mistaken, already pointed about like right here, maybe here. No, he can't play from from below the ball. I don't think it goes. Well, probably he try right now to play free ball into the nine. Try to hide the cue ball behind the 10. I don't know if it's on, but seems yeah. it's like. Oh, actually, yeah, look. There's plenty of room between the ten, the 3 and the 10 to, to play the 3 off the 9 and cinch him behind the 10, I think. Yeah, yeah but it's still tricky as 5 ball. It's on the way, I think, when... When trying to clear it out. Yeah. He's calling it in the side in case it goes off the nine in the side, I believe. Is he going? Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, just he's like checking the tan the tangent line. Also, I don't know. He can play, stop the free ball on the ten ball and try to go the cue ball on the upside table. Look at this. He oh. called the pocket. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, easy kick, but not gonna be getting any type of reward for it yeah probably just roll the cue ball then maybe play the carom or the eight ball yeah for the carom to lay good though i think you need to be coming almost out here right i'm not sure so this would be a pretty not not a slow roll here if he does intend to play the carom he gonna play it just down just trying to create an opportunity i kind of yeah. like that actually yeah yeah great shot because you're kind of gambling either way you know yeah and yeah. he got down for the combo yeah yeah actually he landed perfect with the cue ball i think yeah with this combination yeah god he just hits it like it's a hanger Someone, someone who's a fan of the stream or like a friend of the stream just called me <laughs> and I'm live in front of 6,000 people. It's like, why, why, wait, why are you calling me? That's so funny. Come on, guys. Ooh, baby. Ooh. Does he get past the seven or get buried right up on it? Oof. Oh, he's okay. Little jelly roll. Yeah, he went for easier putt, but tougher... Speed uh, control? Yeah, tougher speed control. I mean, like, probably I would play this to the corner pocket because then it's just the pot. You yeah. don't have to care about the cue ball. It's just, he's all right. Oh. Ooh, baby. So Vitaly with a chance, good chance to make it to one for him. Dogging it, Dom nice comes in. 
Wrong guy. Wrong guy. Molina Mike is not in here. <laughs> it is so interesting to be... So like I've mentioned a few times already, I before I started streaming two and a half years ago, I didn't follow pool extremely closely. Like I followed a few of the majors. Yeah. And I didn't watch... Like I watched a couple of the matches for each of the majors, you know? But since I started streaming, I've been following a lot more closely. And this is, in Vitaly's case, pardon me, <clears throat> in Vitaly's case, this is the first time that I've been watching almost all the matches in almost all the majors and watching the guy that's kind of having a breakout moment, you know? Yeah, maybe. I think he improved a lot. Like compared to uh, compared e like you know to the time before the COVID yeah uh, it's, yeah even different if player never, even if he never gets there and or or you know even for a couple years doesn't get there and like actually snap off a few really big tournaments just the fact that he's showing the grit and heart and getting to you know the final three the final four of these these uh, big tournaments with, with tough fields yeah yeah. Really good work by him. I mean, incredible year so far. I think he finished fourth or top three. And I think it was third derby. in the nine ball in the derby. Yeah, I think yeah. that's what uh, Filler said. Yeah, I mean, he, Fetter, sorry. Yeah, he won the Texas Open. Skinny Bubs. Yep. Right. And right. the mini derby. Right? Didn't he get the mini derby? I know it's not as big of a tournament. There were still oh, some uh, solid uh, names out I, there. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Didn't follow that one, actually. And also here, making pretty good run. Up two to zero. I mean, two to one, pardon me, if I could count yeah. and read numbers. <laughs> that is a good looking break. The one ball went nowhere, though. That was kind of odd. Did he put a bunch of draw on the cue ball? Yeah, yeah, because... The more draw you put into the cue ball... The more follow uh, it puts on the one ball, right? Yeah, yeah, so that's why the cue ball is barely moves from the rack. And it's all good if the cue ball, like, you know, comes to the middle of the table. It's quite all right, but many times it can happen like this, that some of the balls will kick the cue ball and the cue ball will stay some are up table so not shot on the one not easy safety oh look what he's doing he's playing the one off of the four yeah and leaving the key ball behind the three not easy one actually played it well here's that break we were just talking about guys How the cue ball draws away, the one ball slowly comes off the rack. Look how symmetrical that break is. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as long as it works, it's really a uh, good weapon. But one or two breaks uh, can say uh, you can lose your confidence sure with this break yeah and then everything can start going that way but yeah it seems like Daniel is really good at in the soft break with filler I heard that he made five break and run outs I heard that Filler got a few kisses as well. Yeah, also that. Like three different breaks, getting kisses and scratches and. Look at this. Oh. Little hard, little thin. No stop on the six ball. Is he going to get behind the eight? E Yikes. I think he can see the one. Played the cue ball behind the na nine and ten. Looks like it from here. 
It's really nice kick by Vitaly. He swerved it a little to try to slow it down. He swerved it a little to get more, uh, yeah. take more of the juice out of the cue ball yeah. and send the one. That was an interesting. That was that was a good shot. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and all the easy escape options are, are uh, covered. I think he can play to rails, with the cue ball close to the the cue ball close to the two ball, short rail, long rail, exactly this line. Try to hit it left side of the one ball. There is quite good chances that he can hide the cue ball behind nine, ten, maybe three ball, exactly like this. Also, if he hits it full, he can hide the one ball behind the four or ten. got full access to the one ball yeah I don't know if it passes to the, the, the five ball to the corner pocket oh boy this is tough yeah it seems like he has to play it to the side pocket <coughs> it is so tough yes, to hit this soft, it's really soft. Yeah. and try to get the cue ball to kill a little bit off the short rail. Yeah. Came out Played a little uh, fortunate there, I think, but but really, really nice. Uh, no, he speed. actually wanted to. He wanted to hit the two. Yeah, so there was no option, I think, to miss the two ball. <coughs> Interesting what he's going to play right now. Just try to kill the cue ball. Almost found the window. Yeah, quite unlucky with this hit. <coughs> you know, that shot is used so commonly amongst pros where you just thin the ball to leave it there and then yeah. just send the cue ball yeah because with distance behind other balls i mean i would also play probably the same way because if you hide the cue ball behind the nine and ten he can't play he can't play the jump shot and you know these days most of the players are really good with the jump shots right so always you just try to search for the options to not leave the jump shot. And here also playing two rails could be a little bit tricky because the free ball is close to the side pocket. But I think anyway he's, he can see the free ball. Play two rails, put it somewhere near the six ball. Nice shot. Pogo stick. <laughs> I like the pogo stick here. And he calls the bank in the corner. There's nothing wrong with hitting this a little bit uh, thin, actually. Oh my god, Dominic wants to bet on Daniel. That's not a good sign. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that. Yeah, I was going to say, there's nothing wrong with hitting this a little thinner and, and just sending it this way. You know, if you even get in between there a little bit and run into the eight, you know, the three's yeah. like drifted down this way. A lot of good things can happen. Yeah. Still, it's quite all right. We hit it well. Not easy shot. <laughs> Look at Dom. Haha. <laughs> 
I mean, because it was so funny, because after the match with Aloysius, mm -hmm. I just found the post on his group that he wanted to bet on the app, and then everything was funny, because I won the 9-1, and, like, mm -hmm. you know, it's Dominic curse. <laughs> <laughs> I bet on you, and your tip broke. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm telling. Everything is going bad way when Dominic bets on you. <laughs> if only. <laughs> if only. I got a feeling that Dominic plays it up a little bit more than than reality, so he can keep getting the good bets. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's good. Good, good. <laughs> Dom, your, your cameras are coming. Your cameras are coming. I'll send out your cameras in the morning. I should have time tomorrow. So Vitaly missed the free ball. Left Daniel a good chance to finish this one. Do you ever, play this, do you ever play this off the 8 to get the 8 out of that position? Or you just, no, don't, no, you no. just don't care? No, no. I mean, the 8 was, I think, too far. Mm. On the side pocket. Whenever the uh, one of the balls late in the rack for me, because I know my limitations. <laughs> Whenever it's sitting in that spot, I just like. Yeah, I mean, like I also always try to uh, try to move out the ball, which is like close to the mm -hmm. side to pocket. The point. Yeah, and you cannot make it to the side. Yeah, because it's a really awful position to play this yeah. ball. Because you, when you usually go for this ball, it's really easy to throw it into the point or yeah to, to, to the jaw of the side pocket miss yeah. it right there got a nice healthy angle here to draw the cue ball out two rails uh, the eight ball is actually a lot further to this side of the pocket than I thought it was you yeah can, you can access this I rail think. and this point with the cue ball if yeah you there's no chance of scratching the cue ball yeah it's possible to get a funny bounce off the point that might come this way but no, I got no, a no. feeling he's gonna get straight enough that that's not gonna be a problem it's all right. Perfect position. Yeah. You know what? He played it with follow. Oh. He played it with follow. Did you see how it bounced off the point and wanted to come this way? And then he like... You know, it's always it? tricky with this... Uh, and the point of the jaw of the yeah. side pocket. It's tough to predict what exactly gonna happen with the cue ball. Right. But I think he did a great job with it. I think he just like. But it was okay because the nine ball was in position where he didn't have yeah. to care about the cue ball that much. Just focus on making the eight. Do they have a senior tour for pool? Uh, check back in 10 years. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a really weird interaction, or cool, interesting interaction with the realm. I'm actually gonna watch it back in slow motion. did that on purpose yeah maybe he will he wanted to make sure that the the cue ball will go up table just to just guarantee that there's no issues with uh, the, the like nine. clearing the rail you know and yeah and, yeah because yeah. he can if he played like you know with the stun then maybe he would have not a nice angle on the nine yeah so 2-2, two, two. Vitaly about to break. Good hit. 
bit unfortunate with the eight ball. Yeah, I can't <clears throat> get to the one. What about the jump bake on the one? Don't be scared. Oh no, it's too risky. Okay. <laughs> Gotta live a little. I'm just kidding. Not in the uh, not yeah. in the final four of a yeah. U.S. Open title. Same shot. What's next for you guys? Are you guys doing all the, the WNT stuff, or are you guys... Uh, are you going to Boston, or are you guys just taking off after Vegas? Or? I'm just going to the Boston. Um, Daniel and Shimon Kual is going back to the Poland. Mm -hmm. Mateusz Wyszynowski already is on his way to the home. Mm -hmm. uh, because they didn't know what would be the outcome if they play uh, the WNT events with all these bands and like, you know it's still a bit tricky and we all don't know what will be mm. in the future with all these bands yeah so Daniel and Shimon and Mateusz didn't sign with Metrum so was right they couldn't sign up for this one so otherwise they can be banned from playing WPA events oh wow look at this nice little uh Nice little hit here. With yeah. No love. There's no love. There's not really much of an escape here either. I think you can play. How about this? Wait, let me guess. Let me guess. This is a silly shot. Thin the two, just thin enough where the cue ball comes this way. No, no, no. I got different. What do you got? Uh, two ball to the short rail and try to send it like to the middle of the short rail on the upside table and the cue ball behind the 10 or 7 ball of the long rail. So just follow the cue ball? No, no, the no, side, no, 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 no. Just the side of the 8? No. no, no, no. I meant just to play it from the left side, the, the 2 ball. Yeah, I mean follow off of the left side yeah, of the 2 yeah, ball. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ball down like here, but, there was, but there was a chance of double kiss. And then the 2 ball goes up this way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little two ten combo here, maybe. Can he get enough of the two ball? Yeah, I think it's on. He should go for it. It's like kind of the two way shot. If he misses, he can still put the cue ball behind the eight. I think he needs to. Did Wojciech, Wojciech sign with the WNT? Uh, no. 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 <coughs> the Dunn curse is alive and well. Dom, it's tied, <laughs> and he got one little jelly ho roll here with the 10. <laughs> Relax. Did you do anything fun out here in Vegas? Anything uh, outside a pool, or were you just all business? Not really. There is, um, maybe spend a few time in the casino, but yeah. just to have fun. But not anything else. There is not so much to do in Vegas, to be honest. Just about playing pool, and that's it for me. There's not that much to do in Vegas, guys. I mean. When you're a professional pool player, you sure, know. sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get you. <coughs> yeah, so same problem this. again. The cue ball got kicked by some balls, and the one ball didn't move much. Yeah, I think he cannot make the one ball. Again, it's not easy. No, nope. not easy. He 
see Brandon Birch finally got a rail over here to keep the guys on their uh, their motor scooters out of the <laughs> arena. <laughs> yeah, I saw the post yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was so glad I caught that, like framed up on on stream. That was a uh, interesting moment. Apparently, someone in the chat earlier said that the same guy did the same thing at the predator event said that some said that they're claiming that the same guy tried to go up to the what a shot here oh yeah what a creative shot that was yeah I mean, nice vision by daniel yeah a bit unlucky to be honest it was really close yeah to make a really great safety um but yeah, they said that he even tried to wheel into the Predator arena, like got up to the, to the side of it when somebody stopped him. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard it. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised after what we saw. Is Beato in the final today? No. No, it's uh, Shane Van Boning waiting for the winner of this match to play Lee Van Corteza, and the winner of that match plays Shane. Yeah, this isn't going to... Seems like luck. Maybe a little luck here, yeah. Wave of the hand. I don't know what he was trying to do. Make the one of the two ball. Some kind of Ben Karam shot. Yeah. When will the eight ball draw be posted? Tomorrow. They're doing side pots in all of the events. And so they're waiting until everybody's confirmed if they're in any side pots before the draw. I like this shot. Yeah, good speed. I don't know. You're playing the eight ball? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. playing the eight ball and then going. Do you like the game, eight ball? On the tough table, yeah, but these tables are a bit too easy for the sure, bro, sure. It's a break and run fest. Yeah, like especially with the fest. template, it's yeah. gonna be quite easy to make the ball. I think we'll see tomorrow. But with the template, it's much more easier to make the mm -hmm. ball than with the wooden rack. So I expect a lot of break and runouts tomorrow. More variance in the outcome, but you say you would like. Oh, he thought he was. He was almost certain he was going to make that ball. It looks like. Um, <clears throat> but you you say that you would probably enjoy eight ball more if it was on a match room type type table like that. I mean, yeah, because with the eight ball, you know, there are no tough shots, mm -hmm. so you don't have usually long pots or whatever. Just about controlling the cue ball and pattern yeah pattern selection yeah exactly and with the template also when you break good spread of the balls mm -hmm. after the breaks and I would I would probably say actually that it's easier to judge the speed that you need to make a good spread, right? Because it's possible to hit them too hard, right? Where the balls start to cluster up again. Yeah, but I think it's like I'm the fan of the hard breaking and the eight ball, because mm -hmm. there you have more chances to make the ball. Mm -hmm. Because in the eight ball, that's the most important thing, actually. I mean, every game is really important to make the ball, but in eight ball, if you got the dry break, there will, be all, night there, night. Will, there will be always the game for your opponent, right? In Tambor you can be sometimes lucky, not leave the one. But they're always going to have the opening shot to control the table. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. A lot of these, these matches, now that we get towards the end of the tournament with this alternate break format, are going the distance. Yeah, yeah. It's funny how that happens even if people aren't necessarily doing, you know, breaking and running. 
right? Or even holding serve. They're not always holding serve either. But, for some reason, <laughs> they still go even almost the whole way. Most of the matches that we've watched. I mean, you mean uh, with the alternate break, right? Yeah, with alternate break, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, with the template, I think 80% of the guys are like, breaking really well here. So, when you got the break, you got the choice after the break. Whoop. You can run out, make some good safety, and you always usually have an advantage. Mm -hmm. So there is not that much you know, breaking. Uh, it's a lot of pulls of your break. Jackie Tucker asks, what time will the 8-ball start tomorrow, Collins? Around the same time that the 10-ball started, sometime between 10 and 11. a player break here yeah I think so take a look around the venue yeah I think Daniel took the timeout look at this beautiful room all the artwork on the walls yeah really nice crap really love that one Let's see if we can see the... I don't normally do this. You're going to see a lot of uh, cables, guys. But let's show you guys the bar top. If we can see it. Oh, barely can. Can't see the handles. Nah, too dark. Alright, well, I won't try that again. Just trying to show off the room here. It's a beautiful room. Nice staff. Action table. Tommy Medina getting down. Who's this? Is that Ian Costello still? They're still playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think on this table the pockets are a yes. bit more tight. Just yeah. a hair over four inches. Okay, yes. Table for one pocket, I think. Yes, it's the action table. <laughs> Daniel. Sean I will not be streaming the event in Boston no I would love to stream any any uh, big events if we can you know make it make sense for all parties involved I would love to I love doing this it's fun but I'm sure they've got something organized already and uh, so do many events but Mike says his back hurts. He can't come in. Sit down. He keeps pointing at me. You good? Of course I'm good, man. <laughs> okay. So literally taking some risk of calling the bang shot. I think it lays really good with the way the cloth is playing right now. Yeah. Just stop the rock. I think he's playing with the follow. Yeah, oh, close. Yeah. He used high karate to stop the cue ball there. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. The overspin? Yeah, it was a smart shot. Because the cue ball just tried to stick to the, the rail. To the rail with all this spin. Good try, but seems like he's gonna lose the rack right now if Daniel makes the one. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, Dang Dong asks, is that a money game or a local league? Are you talking about with Tommy Medina? It's probably a local league. He's just playing AP. He's playing his APA match for the week. Okay. <sighs> Interesting shot coming up. I think if he gonna play just the Drew shot, the cue ball is going 
towards the free. Yeah, it's gonna, it wants to spit off the rail. Yeah, so. Because it doesn't really have I time to draw play. before it hits the rail. Did uh, he hit that rail first? No. Oh. What? No, he, he played a bit like stun draw. Yeah. He still had like a funny interaction. Yeah, because it's like stun draw makes the draw shot, the draw spin a bit delayed. Mm hmm. Oh, I think you can see the free ball. Oh, that's a nice shot. Yeah. <clears throat> I heard Tommy is a real strong up and coming APA three, maybe a two. Come on. It's an APA one pocket match. <laughs> This temple for the first time lead for Daniel. Now Vitaly says it's my turn. <laughs> my turn to take a break. Shout out to Brandon Birch and Griffs. Getting the uh, the tablets all set up makes the scorekeeping so easy. I think during this break, maybe we'll go uh, for you guys on the chat screen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to fathom. How long an APA one pocket match would take? How do you like the game of one pocket? I mean, since I'm on the fan of like you know fast game, yeah. Sometimes it's kind of boring, but it's in the same time it's interesting because it's like chess. And yeah. Ball. Yeah. But I don't like watching one pocket and one rack, which I can take up to I don't know. Three one hours, hour, one rack. Three hours sometimes. Oh, listen, I, I played my first one pocket tournament derby, and I played with Vitaly. We played almost four hours. One rack or one set? No. One set. Well, yeah, race to three. I won three two, but I was like, I never played that long one match. <laughs> the tournament, I was like crazy. Yeah. I, uh,. Before I started streaming, I wasn't really much of a fan of the game, but I've watched it a lot. And uh, since since watching it and, and also like talking with guys that know the game really well, like while I'm live, you know, it's uh, it's so much more interesting. And don't get me wrong, there's there's plenty of games that I'll be playing, and it's like, oh great, now we get to do this song and dance of like we'll send them all up table, we'll fight over the wedge, you know, it's like. Yeah. Yeah, okay, great. But it's really interesting to me now to like try to pick the game apart in a way where you're like kind of like chess, but in chess it's more about finding that key those few key moves where you you like gain positional advantage and then you you make one quick strike, you know? But in uh in pool it's like the strike is almost like Sorry, how, how am I going to say this? When you set the pieces in place, you're setting yourself off up to not just, like, take the king, but you also need to execute four, five, six, seven, eight shots in a row. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and get all of that set up to where that's even possible. And so I find it really interesting, almost like you're trying to, um, you know, set up some type of tactical strike on an enemy. Yeah, know? when it comes to tactics, it's like sometimes it's really interesting. 
to see some shots. I mean, sometimes I can't believe what uh, players like Tony, yeah, uh, Alex, and all top one forget players can like you know play and f some shots which are <laughs> for me are like so crazy and I wouldn't even like think about playing some shots in one pocket and they're playing it there so well. Yeah, it's so also even beyond that too, the the part of the game that I'm only beginning to understand. There's there's a few guys in my my home room that, actually California, Sacramento, it's a hub for one pocket, right? And there's a lot of guys that that really like the game, and there's a number of them that when I play them, um, and I'm not completely incapable, you know what I mean? Like I can I can cue the ball fairly well a decent amount of the time, and accomplish what it is that I'm trying to execute at a fairly high percentage, you know what I mean? So it's not like I'm just kind of putzing around the table, but like there are games where I'll play against these guys that they're they're three, four, five moves ahead of me in their mind, and it's like I can't even fathom how to even start to try to structure any type of advantage for myself, let alone not just sell the game out, you know what I mean? And that yeah. that type of deep knowledge of the game and like deep understanding of what your opponent is not only capable of but what they're going to try to do and how that's going to hurt you or advantage you you know and then also trying to play the game in a way where yeah but all that works to your advantage i find really interesting yeah but you mentioned that your opponent which is better like knows what to play five mm -hmm. moves ahead uh-huh it's like every game the tempo also we were just sure but i'm s yes but yeah. I'm also talking about, I'm really talking about, like, three, four moves ahead. Like, they take a shot, I take a shot. They know what I'm going to yeah, shoot. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean yeah. it's the same chess. Like, you know, I think, like, amateurs in chess only yeah. thinks about next move. Yeah. Oh, did he call this shot? I think he did. Oh, my God. Great shot. What a kick. Yeah. And he's he got on the, the cue ball to die, so he ends up in the window. Yeah, yeah. He can right now make the tubo. Cue ball short. Ray. Uh, yeah, I think you can play this cue ball between 8 and 10. Yeah, yeah but coming back to this, uh, also in chess, also I think Magnus Carlsen and Dink and they also they got already 10 moves ahead I in know, their it's hand. That's ridiculous. And I can't even, like, you know, f understand how they can think about this because there are so many possibilities uh -huh. also on the pool table what shots you can play yeah you know it's really oh wow so that'll work it's not you're not like thrilled but you're certainly not disappointed <laughs> yeah. with this spot yeah yeah uh i think i got also a few questions on the chat oh yeah uh, the first one was, which I remember, it was like, what made me to start playing pool? Uh, I think 15 years ago, when I was uh, like a small kid, my grandmother bought me, like, I don't know, free food. Okay. Pool table, it's just just for a kid. Like, you yeah, know, like, I think I remember just something a toy. like that. Yeah. Just a toy. And I think Florian Kohler has probably done some trick shots on that table. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> So I started playing on it, and then I saw the snooker on the Eurosport. They wanted to try that game, but snooker is not that popular in Poland, and you cannot find so many tables, so many snooker tables in, uh, in Poland. And there was a pool club, like five minutes walk from my home that time. So m my parents decided to take me up there. And I really liked the game, so we just started going there every week. Finally, my mom decided to sign me up for some billiard school. And that's how it all started. Which game was it that you first fell in love with? American-style pool? Nine ball? Uh, eight ball? Um, uh, I think... Any eight, type of Q uh, sport? I, I mean, in Poland, everyone is starting with the eight ball. Yeah. It's like the most popular game over there. So I played a lot of eight ball in the beginning. But then this, started this playing. Is nice, nice speed control. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Really nice speed control here. Yeah. Beautiful rack by Vitali. Really nice kick. Seems it's gonna be four four again. Yeah. 
So eight ball pool is is it uh, the reds and yellows like English eight ball or is it uh, just traditional American? Style? Traditional? No, we don't yeah. have this English eight ball. I can't yeah. watch this game to be honest. <laughs> the table is so small. Okay. And it's six foot, right? Or? Yeah, I think it's yeah. No. And I, I played this game once when I was in Morocco. I was like, what the hell is that game? To <laughs> the cube was also smaller and yeah. lighter. Yeah. And I couldn't understand. Yeah. You know, I was in, uh, I went to Bali this last year uh, in November. <clears throat> Our honeymoon, my wife and I. We go, we go into Singapore and then to Bali. And uh, in Bali, there was a table there that is... They called it Balinese eight ball. Yeah. And it was uh, maybe a seven foot table with the rounded pockets, very tight pockets. And the balls, I'll show you guys at home. The balls were maybe a little bit bigger than this. Very small, but on a seven <laughs> foot table. And it was on the beach. So the table was covered in sand. <laughs> okay. So if you made a ball, it was pretty much luck anyway, unless you just rifled yeah. it straight into the pocket. Crazy. But yeah. It's amazing all the different variations of pool all over the world. Yeah, so many. Also, I don't know how it's called this game, but I think it's popular in Belgium. It's like, I don't even know how to explain this game. It's like you have some things on the table and just the holes. And you have to make bumper them. pool, isn't bumper, it? Bumper, maybe. Played also this game. This game? Yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. This game. It was this game. Bumper pool. That's a small one. <laughs> yeah. And then they have different styles of table. Yeah, they saw this game. It was like, oh my god. I didn't know even <laughs> something like this exists. Like, you know. Yeah. 4-4. Four, four. Vitality to break. Oh. It was close scratch no balls down yeah I think he got lucky or maybe there is a path between the seven and three there's also a risky jump since the two is really close to the I mean the, the one the, it's the one ball is just it's really easy to move it off the table yeah yeah, yeah. it's a little risky but High risk, high reward. Everything lays really nice that if you make the ball, things are going to probably end in your favor. Look at the elevation. He's trying to land just beyond the seven ball. Really nice shot. Unfortunate yeah. kiss. Yeah. I think he will use the jump stick again. I don't know. Oh, he got the kick of the rail. Maybe he can even see the two ball. I think he can see through there, through the window. I think, as some might say, the window's open. <laughs> <laughs> You can't play the bank. I think it's covered by the six, the pocket. Nice shot. Nice and close to the three ball, taking the jump out. I think I'm kicking off the long rail, the right hand long rail here. Yeah, there is some chance to make the two ball to the side pocket, playing off the short rail. Oh, oh, off the six. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah. Vitaly strength to play off the short rail. But playing off the long rail, there is, I think, better chance to uh, have some kind of tricky situation for your opponent after this. Yeah, because this kind of thing can happen. Sorry, the lines are terrible. Yeah. Or the two ball can end up near the five. And here... Not much can happen, I think. Except of Where if you're kicking this way though, if you're kicking this way and you don't make the two, there's a lot of sellouts. Yeah. I mean there's a lot of sellouts both ways. Wow. Oh my god. Kick better, Vitali. Kick him better. That's you know, a nice contact. It's crazy. Make one shot. Make one shot, and the rack is for y is yours for the taking. 
not an easy shot, but I swear to God, I put you, I put you or filler out there. You're already on the four ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so there is not much to think about here. Just make the ball. Yeah, just about making the ball. Maybe play with a little bit of left English to avoid scratching to the side pocket. I'll make sure you pull this in. If you're okay. over there, pull it with you. It, you can put it anywhere you want. Okay. Just so they can hear you. And there we have it. A great shot. I mean, also got the question. I mean, how how often do I run the hundred? I think it's uh, regarding to the straight pull, right? Yeah, that'd be a fourteen and one question. I yeah, mean, I don't play any more straight pull, no uh, tournaments. Sometimes uh, maybe when I want to get in the stroke. Didn't you play the uh, fourteen and one thing that happened a couple years ago? I think it was a world championship. Yeah, I played American Championships. I finished second. It was to Dimitri Youngo. That's right. It was you. Yeah, I finals. played. Yeah, I played really nice. I think I made three times break over 100. It's pretty good. Yeah. You don't care for the game, though? I mean, sometimes it's good for the practice, but there's only one big tournament throughout the year, and it's American. Yeah. Red Bull Championships right, and right. Q Masters. So why Virginia? work on the discipline if uh, you're trying to go from country to country and make a living? Yeah. yeah. That's the other thing that's so beautiful about this game is there are so many disciplines that, that can be and are played at such a high level. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, let's focus right now on the six ball. It's interesting if he's gonna play two rails with follow or just. I would think just draw and take your medicine. A... He's been hitting the ball so clean. Yeah, I don't know what's the angle if he's straight on the six. He's it's, it's pretty much straight. Yeah, the, the cue ball is gonna peel out this way a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, he's alright, probably. Oh. Oh, to the other side of the seven. Yowza. Uh, too much power. Oh. Yeah. Hi, who is the pole in the booth? He can, <laughs> they can tell just from your accent. Just a guy named uh, <laughs> Victor. You ever heard of him? So, yeah, that's why I would, would love to play this follow to rails but probably the eight m could be on that path right now he misjudged the six ball with the draw shot and not easy on the seven Ooh. no jelly roll this is gonna sell out no. maybe oh, i think does his, it get to the long rail i think he's really lucky wow i think there is no chance do you play the two rail kick here or do you play the swerve? Don't know. <laughs> it's tough to I don't say if you are not on. Here's the deal with the table conditions right now. The, the table wants to kick long, right? Because it's so slippery. And so you, I think you can get there from this point. And so the seven or the nine and ten are not. Yeah, in maybe. Play, you know what I mean? But. Are you gonna gamble? I think the swerve is better. Yeah, I think I will also play the swerve. I don't know if it's on with the eight ball. He's looking at the kick. I He's mean, taking the kick. Yeah, if he makes it guaranteed position for the eight ball, but he missed, missed it. Yeah, so a two too tough short. racks for Daniel actually. Yeah. I mean, Vitaly made good two kicks after Daniel's safeties, and right now I'm a bit lucky. That was a pretty fortunate result. Yeah. To say the least. Missing the seven off of two points in the side pocket and leaving you hooked on one ball across the table. Nathan Ilsley, I've heard that Ultimate Pool USA is going to be played on seven-foot tables with the traditional American balls. 
stripes and solids. Because in Ultimate Pool in the UK, they actually play with the smaller balls too. But American Ultimate Pool, we played with with a set of balls this size, as far as I understand. Interesting he didn't stun run through a little bit more right there. He's got kind of a steep angle moving towards the 10 Yeah, ball. right now it's a bit tricky. Some Something bad can happen. Yeah, funny collision. No, going into the ball always can go wrong. Yeah. Although, if you hit it at a good speed, it might just sit right over the side pocket. Or the corner. Oh, he's all right. That's a nice shot. I think he judged that. Oh, Daniel is from Poland. Jakey. You see what Lenny Robinson's saying right there? He says, out of all the pros, I think he makes the game look effortless. You. You make the game look easy. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying, like, trying my best. That's a really cool uh, billiard ball on the sleeve there for the poles. The 11 ball color. I mean, it's the logo of Polish Federation. Actually, I think the idea of this, it's like, Polish flag on the on the yeah. ball, yeah. and when you see the balls on the pattern of the Polish country, yeah, so it's like Polish flag. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, I think it's a cool idea. It's almost like a, in America we call when you make a a game with words, you call it a pun, like a play on words. You know, you've heard the phrase. Have you heard of what a pun is? No. A pun would be like, and of course I'm going to struggle to to think of one. Chat, give me a, throw a few puns my way, because I'm having a brain fart while I'm trying to do the, I'm like on demand, something like, uh, I'm, s I'm spacing right now. I've been talking too much, guys. I can't think of one. Give me a common pun. It'll take a few seconds. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, I get the question. That's pretty punny. That's pretty punny, like it's okay. funny. Okay. So you take the words and you make like a little fun game with them to make it sound like something else, but we all know what it really means, right? So same idea. It's almost like a pun okay. of the, the Polish flag with the billiard ball. Okay. Yeah. That's kind of how I see it. I got the question about do I got any favorite drills? Uh, mostly I got some from the internet, but I don't remember the names of the, of those reels but sure. i also practice a lot with alex Reilly. he yeah. taught me a lot yeah he's great one of the best coaches in the world i also learned a lot from him uh, here's here's another good pun why can you not trust adams you know adams yeah uh, the the particle oh yeah adams why can you not trust them don't know. because they make up everything because okay. everything's made up of, by atoms. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's a pun. Okay. Yeah, it's like a. you're using the word atom and you're using the, the phrase make up everything to okay. mean two different things. Yeah. So poor safety by Vitaly. For the record, guys, he was smiling and actually laughing at that, at the atom <laughs> joke, okay? I know it was kind of quiet. <laughs> if you have to explain it, Collins, <laughs> it's not funny is what he's trying to say. Okay, guys, take it easy. making the game look easy there is a stark contrast between the styles and rhythms of these two players here 
Vitaly kind of has more of a fetter type style and rhythm and feel, you know, where it's like very deliberate. Deliberate, you can tell he's working hard at his craft. Where Daniel's a little bit closer to you, he just kind of gets up and hits the ball, and it looks really good. Yeah, I mean, I'm fan of the play. I, I like to watch the players who are playing, you know, fast, don't think too much, have natural technique. Yeah. As well. Real nice cue ball, nice line, good speed. <laughs> Don't ever trust stairs because they're always up to something. <laughs> That's a good one. I met a Polish girl once. It was at a nail salon, <laughs> like nail polish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Brutal. Conrad is not playing at the open. Only me, Daniel, Shimon, and Mateusz play the temple, and uh, Mateusz just left. Three of us will still play the eight ball. Sorry about that. That happened okay. when somebody edits a comment and they change it, all of them reload. Okay. Oh, 5-5. Five, five. Nothing can separate these guys again. Did I already ask you how you like the, uh, the template here? That max rack template? I mean, it seems it's pretty good. Didn't have many problems to stick all the balls with each other. Yeah, no gaps here today. times I think also players and none of the players have problem of sticking the balls with this rack so it's quite nice rack so there's one problem here the three, and three, nine. three and nine Maybe he can play Karam. Depending on where he gets on the two ball, he might be able to get above it. He's trying to get above the three ball, I think. Yeah, if he... he just slides up the rail. Uh, yeah, Oops, there's a the, nice chance of having the game. Yeah, he, is he plays exactly in between nine and three. It moves the three to the short rail below the five, right? Yeah. Or... or yeah, yeah, exactly. Just yeah. To try to hit the free ball either full or maybe from the left side. It should be alright. Yeah. Exactly. Nicely yeah, done. Yes. Yeah, so from this point, quite easy one. Oh, this is one of the few spots where I'm really okay with being straight in and having to play the draw shot because it's going to offer you a really nice angle on the seven as long yeah. as you get anywhere close to center table 
yeah. You know. Unless he has an angle and he goes forward with it, but yeah, this isn't a bad spot. So right, right there. Play it right now with stun. Okay, yeah, just follow for the side pocket. Like dead center cue ball. Yeah. Like that stun run through, kind of punch it to the rail. Mm -hmm. Boom, just like that. A great shot. Yes, yeah, so two stop shots for a 6 5 lead. I'll be damned if we aren't playing all 17 games here. <laughs> Someone's saying it's going to go hill hill. I don't think it's 17 games though. Mm. Who is it toughest is opponent 17. I played against? That's the interesting question. I think there are so many players which are pretty good at almost everything. One of them for sure, recent 10 ball champion, Carlo. Carlo I mean, he has the ability of making anything he wants, kicking the balls perfectly. Josh, also a great player. When he is in his best, it's really tough to beat him. Just do it. What does that say? The back of his shirt. Uh, what well, he stands Daniel's up. shirt? Yeah, Daniel's shirt. Let me see. Here, I'm going to stay here for the break, guys, so we can see it. Oh, you mean the below his yeah, uh, name? Yeah, below his name. It's his team. Just his team name? Yeah. Okay. There's no translation for it? No, no, no. Oh, it's okay. just the sponsors of the team and name of the club and mm. the city. Look what we have here. Oh. Cue ball ended up a lot far for farther forward than it normally does. Um, yeah, I, I think Dion maybe should consider changing the break. Because I think it's like fifth time in a row when he's got no game after the break. So instead of playing that softer low yeah, cue ball break, you're thinking the pop I'm, break? Yeah, I'm always fun. I mean, I like the way the Vitali is breaking. I mean, not like you know, soft break, just yeah. pop the cue ball, but with medium speed. What? Why are you? Wait, what's this? Can you play a 110 combo for free and send the cue ball somewhere re relatively safe here? I mean, don't know, but I think he can make the one actually to the bottom right corner. But okay, he does call the one. What is he looking at here? Probably stop the cue ball on the five ball. To have continuation on the two ball. Man, I actually kind of like the. I mean, it's a good idea to stop the cue ball on the five ball. If he hits the five ball full and makes the one, it's a pretty good situation for him. God, he hits the ball good. Yeah. Great putt. Probably Daniel misjudged a bit the push out. Yeah. He wanted to stick the cue ball to the short rail. Which would make the pot a bit more tougher. Adam Stickles, calm down with the, the bracket link question. <laughs> He's trolling me. He's a friend of mine. At least I think we're friends, Adam. We're friends, right? Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. That's really unexpected mistake from Vitaly. Scratch to the side pocket. I was going to say, all he had to do was make that two ball and the game's over. All the balls are right in front of the holes. And, and Yeah, probably he was a bit afraid of touching the eight from the right side and maybe losing the cue ball. 
up table. Don't know. Yeah, it was a good chance for him to have for the first time two game lead in this game. Thanks for keeping a leash on the chat, Sean. Sean Wedlake, I appreciate the uh, the support. We've got to stay nice in the chat. We're we're not we're not the chat where you go and hang out and just prove how much cooler you are than the rest of everybody else. <laughs> we're here to hang out together and have fun. Don't be selfish. That's right, the chat police are giving yellow cards. <laughs> Thank you. Six, six. Weren't there different colored cards out there for different things out there? At the, at the Predator events when they were different penalties for different actions? Oh, I mean... Uh, you know, it's really tough. I well, my question uh, is about, like, what are the different types of penalties that they could possibly give? Because I thought it was funny that the bathroom break penalty was a yellow card. I mean, I can't understand this. It was surprising to me because there should be bathroom break at least, I mean, from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, between sets, I mean, no limited yeah. Timeouts between the sets. Uh, so, also, first time it was that you can only take the timeout between the sets, right? Yeah. So, many players got the problem. They wanted to take the timeout throughout the set because it, one set can take up to one hour easily or yeah. maybe even more. So, yeah, of course. sometimes you just need Especially to go if to you're the. staying hydrated. Yeah. If you, and it's important to stay hydrated so that your brain function is at top level. And so, it's just funny. Green is warning, yellow is one game, red is one match. Oh, or one set. Got it. Okay, so... Great break by Vitaly, by the way. I wow. mean, wow, what... Oh, my God. He doesn't even have to play pool, and he just wins the game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can't imagine missing the ball here, to be honest. Yeah, but... Uh, it was tricky. Uh, I thought the the refs from CSI were not that good uh -huh. um, this year it was even worse yeah, okay I mean I don't want to we don't need to go too off of the deep end of it but it's it's uh, at least enlightening to hear your your mild opinion that I you've think given so far. that they are good people they just had to follow the rules right yeah, of course but uh, of course I don't know who was responsible for creating those rules, but it was strange with some of them. Yeah, a little bit on the unreasonable side. Or getting close to unbearably unreasonable. <laughs> <laughs> In my opinion, just watching as a spectator, but I do, since we're talking about it, we're not going to go too far into it, but I do think it's important to have structure at the professional level and have boundaries and rules so that think everybody's on the same page it's just my opinion from what i noticed as a spectator that maybe some of the players weren't so properly informed about how things were going to be enforced and how strict they were and so they weren't able to then uh act accordingly so hopefully in future year future years and future events uh all that's going to be rectified and everyone's going to be on the same page yeah, hopefully we'll have good tournaments. they will learn from their mistakes yeah, sure. this year. Yeah, That's what they should do. We are all humans in the yeah, end, you know. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so many mistakes. So yeah. yeah. I'm surprised to see Vitaly so far from the sixth ball here. Not that it matters because you guys stroke so straight. But he's having to move the cue ball a little bit more. Along paths that are not quite so natural. 
in order I think to get he's out. He's straight right now on the seven. Dead straight. So. Oh, dead straight is. I think he's got just a cheatable. No, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah he can it's cheat. cheatable. Yeah, yeah, I would cheat a bit the pocket, play to rails. Yeah, play to the thin side. Yeah. Because it's much more easier, I think, to judge. Oh, he's playing he's the true shot. Pulling the draw shot. Played it pretty well, pretty but good. I think most of the players would play two rails if there's a possibility to possibility to cheat to cheat a bit the pocket because yeah. it's much more easier to control the cue ball. Yeah, so night break and run by Vitaly. Probably it was the best break so far Prob in this match. Probably the best break that I think we've seen on stream. Now, yeah, like I said, the 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 runouts have looked easier. For like the ones that Shane, when Shane breaks like a monster, he just runs them out like it's as if the balls are going to make themselves. But that break was clean. You know what else is clean? Yeah. <laughs> This guy's hair. Uh, I like Vitaly a lot. Fun guy. Good attitude. Hard worker. I think Daniel's switching right now with the break. Looks like he's winding up. Yeah. No. Still the low cue ball. Wow. Talk about a good result finally for Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> finally gets a, a good result. It's almost like he should intentionally try to draw back to play the one ball mm. in the side. That's an interesting break, actually. Yeah, I mean, the, the only way to play to break like this is when you can rock your own. Because, I see. You, because you can make sure, you can trust yourself that the balls will spread evenly. <laughs> No, there, there are no gaps in the rack. Right. Because when there is just one small gap, uh, you know, it's easy to sell out. Yeah. As long as you can trust yourself and th this break works, it's a good weapon. Is that considered a soft break? No, he 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 uh, accomplished the three-point rule at the very minimum. There's no three-point rule in ten ball. No, I know. No, uh -huh, but but I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it would generally be considered like a soft soft break, you know. Oh. Right now. Uh, he didn't play it with right speed. Not the best angle. Cuba going towards the eight nine. Yeah. That's not easy part, I think. Definitely, Adam. At least a six or a seven in APA, these guys. Vitaly versus Tyler Steyer in a fencing match? What do you, t what do you mean, like actual fencing? Sometimes they make jokes and I just don't understand. <laughs> I can't understand neither. Yeah. Tie game again. Yeah, 7-7. Seven, seven. 
I think if you bet on this match going hill hill from this point, you'd probably get even money. I mean, I I told you it's it's gonna be nine seven for Daniel. It is interesting to see the contrasting breaking styles like in action one after the other. It's also interesting to see now obviously the last break from Vitaly was stellar but in general both players haven't really had much to do or much to work with after the break regardless of their opposing styles. Yeah. Two ball kissed by the one. Two ball around the table. Three actually finds gravity. Two near the corner. One ball potable down the rail. But the two ball just sneaking yeah. far enough from the corner that it makes things a little interesting here. Yeah. I mean, it's a good break. But unlucky kiss. It's not easy right now, I think. Gosh, if the two ball was four inches to the left, this is, like, way easier. There is, um, I think she should play safety from here. Where do you? I mean, it's not easy because there is no safety, really. I mean, yeah, all the going for the one, there is like not easy to make good position for the two with the four, eight, nine, where the cue ball will go towards that line. Well. A valiant effort, unfortunately. Yeah, he was close. Unfortunately, it don't count for Bubkiss. Let's see if Diane can play the bank shot here. Yeah, he's calling the bank. Kind of a two-way shot. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, just like kind of nice, smooth, soft draw, maybe three inches, four inches. Yeah, stick the cue ball to the... Whoa! He went after it. I mean, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. He went for the, the double back and forth to get the one ball to the safe spot instead of... I would have played that like a one pocket player, you know what I mean? Yeah, Where yeah. the bank, if it doesn't go, it, like the one ball ends up like out here and the cue ball just soft drew like kind of closer to the 10. Yeah, but it's easier, easier to make the one playing with, with a little more stand. speed. Yeah. yeah. So. With like, you know, so playing it soft, it's tough to predict how the rail will interact. Yeah, the slide of the one ball on the right, rail. Right, right. Good outcome, anyway. Still, right now, big favorite to win this track. Do I know when the eight ball bracket will be posted tomorrow morning? They're, they're doing side pots and they want to give everybody an opportunity to enter the side pots before the draw. So Daniel, pretty good chance to to, to finish this rack. Yeah, and, and then breaking break. for the match. Yeah. The 
There's nothing tough in this wreck, actually. Adam Stickle says Collins takes his glove off when he pockets the final ball to feel the hit. No, 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 no. I look you dead in your eyes when I pocket the final ball while I'm stroking through the cue ball. Adam, I'm talking to you. He got options right now. Playing one way or just kill the cue ball. It's okay. I think a little straighter here would have been. Oh, uh, it's okay. Deal. I mean, he can play it. The longer shot. No, I mean soft draw. Try to cheat the pocket also as well. Okay, yes, yeah, hit it okay. thick. Yeah. Interesting wood now. Also options just to play the nine ball to the same pocket. Maybe a bit stop shot, play it to the side. Kind of got the tweener angle, a little bit of the 50 yard line. Yeah, I mean, it's missable. And the cue ball wants to move. Oh. Yeah, might be going to the other side of the 10, huh? Yeah, probably. Lee Wang asks, when is Lee Van versus the winner of this? Excellent question. Um, idea probably after this match. Woohoo! Again. New cloth helped him a bit. and breaking. Here we go. Shane is in the finals. Lee Van Corteza is currently waiting in the semifinals. Here, that's fun. Oh, dry, lucky. Oh, that's really a lucky one. Whoops, sorry about that guys. Sorry about that. Clicking buttons. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't expect this question. Would you rather play constantly in the loser's bracket or seen in the hot seat? I think it's always better to have a chance to lose the match. <laughs> yeah. <you know? laughs> to be well, on the what winner's about side. In, what about in... Uh, oh, you're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he's the question that they're asking is, would you rather come into the match for the finals fresh and having been competing oh. recently or having been sitting and waiting? Depends, I think. Doesn't matter. Yeah. What the heck is MySpace? Just a little shout out to the post up regs, those OGs from the uh, Brendan Crockett Memorial two and a half years ago. 
That was Joey Tate. So Daniel gave away immediately the option. Vitaly, I think, he put himself in a pretty bad spot. He cannot do actually much with the cue ball with 4 and 2. The cue ball will always hit the either 4 or 2 unless he hits it full. What do you think he's gonna play here? It's a big moment for Vit uh, Vitaly. I mean, it's like I mean, you want to hit it real full, I think, and try to bank it past the two and get the the cue ball like to go between the ten and four. This is good too. Stop it off the four. Look at this. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, I'm talking about a perfect world. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean, great shot. Tough one. But executed really well. So, two rail kick by Daniel coming up. Look at this. Great kick. Oh, it's a great my kick. God. That, that's probably. That kick should be worth the match, given the timing. Yeah. If, if Vitaly can get over the six ball, though. I mean, yeah, he can jump over the six. Still not easy jump. Not easy to make the one. If you do, it's likely the cue ball is going to have a little draw on it and maybe brush the two. He needs to make spot. it, he needs to make it, if he misses, there is no good chance of getting lucky. up near the side probably yeah yeah he can make it to the side seven ball <laughs> covers the opposite side yeah two for the for the cinch draw shot uh, i think he's got an angle so he can play for the bottom left corner oh if he was looking at the follow point yeah off follow the rail. Stop, yeah. stop the cue ball on the six ball Gotta get past the ball to get cue comfortably. It's all right. So the key shot will be from the four to five. Okay, just play two rails. Try to... You, mi you missed the five and nine? No, no, just play in between seven and nine. And try to leave the angle. 
maybe even nothing. Oh. Yeah, this is what I was concerned about. Oh my god. It looked like the line wanted to wanted to go through the five and nine, but it was a narrow window. I mean, I thought that he would use a bit of uh, or just pure right. high ball, like no, or maybe even like you know, just play it with the uh, right English. Check. Yeah, a little check side. Yeesh. With the inside spin, yeah, yeah. Uh, the problem here is even if you make this shot, you're you're gambling of getting out of the frying pan and into the fire behind the eight ball. He can reach, he can barely reach this shot as well. Oh, and uh oh, uh, but uh -oh. Luck. he's lucky a bit. Is he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he is. No combination. Darling is to play safety. Also, not an easy safety right here. Uh, Terry Mayo's out of here. Later. Really curious what he's gonna play from yeah, he, here. Yeah, he's thinking about this for, for quite some time here. <coughs> Think he's thinking about playing the cubo behind the eight, the four, the four traveling three rails, short, long one. Yeah, coming right behind the six ball. Try maybe use some nine ball or five ball. Oh, I see the shot. Okay. Oh, I played that way. Oh, cue ball. Yeah. yeah, he just focused on the cue ball. Yeah. You know what I was thinking there also is since he needed to cut the ball a bit and the 10 ball was real close to the 4, it wouldn't have been a terrible mm -hmm. thing if he thinly hit the, the 10 with the 4 as well because the 4 is still going to go yeah. up that way. So, really uh, good odds to get behind the 8. <laughs> yeah, it was like. To just focus on the cue ball, yeah. mainly. No dice. Oh. What did what did we say the odds were that it was gonna go hill hill? <laughs> I mean, I was close. I think I was close. I predicted 97 for Daniel. He was close to finishing this match, but unfortunately for him, he hooked himself. So Vitaly doesn't need to do anything special with the cue ball right now. I don't know the question who is on your empty rush room of Rushmore of pool? Mount Rushmore? It's uh, a okay, it's uh, it's like Do you know about Mount Rushmore? I'm not sure. Here I'll show you a picture. You yeah, never, I, I think with the, all those four presidents. Yeah, 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 yeah okay, yeah, 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 I know. 
they're uh, supposedly you know the four greatest presidents of all time is okay decided yeah, yeah. By the people yeah, the yeah I wasn't sure of the name in uh, in English of this mountain I don't know what I have to say four best players for you your for favorite me. of all time of all time hmm I think when it comes to the best game and like you know when players playing his A game, it's for sure Carlo, Filler. I think also I really love to see Albin play a couple of years ago. Still, when he is into his A game, it's really tough to beat him. Then the fourth one. Tough call, probably. All time, any time. Probably Copini. I mean, like I'm, w would like to focus right now, cause sure, sure. Cause I don't really, uh, I've never seen Efren in his sure. prime, sure, with sure, other sure, guys sure. and yeah. billiard. We just moving forward. Um, you know, twenty years ago there was no jump shot. Yeah. The tables were different, no templates. Different uh, cloth, bigger pockets. Yeah, so I I really would love to see like, you know, Efren in his pri prime playing right now with Josh. Yeah, it'd be very uh, interesting Shane. to see. If only we could ever see that, you know what I mean? That'd yeah. It'd be very interesting. Do you know what oh never mind, I thought this was some type of red drink in, inside the water bottle, it's mm -hmm. actually just a cup. Okay. Yeah. I thought maybe he had brought something to add to the water or something. Yeah, I mean, I just don't want to say that I don't appreciate what uh, Strickland, Efren, Bustamante and all those players did in the past. But, like, you know, I, uh, you have no uh, way to gauge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it, I was t too young. Yeah. And I didn't see them playing, to be honest. So hill hill, Vitali to break. There wasn't so many break and rounds no. in this match, so I wa I always love to see some kind of the chess in the final rack to have some, you know, some emotions. Back and forth, yeah. Oh, like it's just. You know, six easy stop shots for the match. Good break, but eight ball not in oh. the way, and the oh, seven laying in the pocket. Uh, that's interesting. I mean, yeah, the bank the bank shot is right now quite easy, but the two balls and really the other side of the table, no clear paths. Yeah, little wave of the hand, a little wave of frustration. Also, he needs to play with some speed. This one, because if he just rolled the uh, one ball, he can hook himself behind the eight ball or five ball well he was just gesturing over here with his yeah but it's playing like with more of the speed yeah using maybe some insight also spin yeah and it might be smarter because if he rolls the one and he can also make the one and then be hooked on the two ball you know what i'm saying yeah Yeah, there are many options though if you make this shot regardless of how you get on the two there's many options to keep things under control if you get on the one probably he would be he would love to make also the one ball right now because he's perfect on the on two, the ball. two imagine, yeah. yeah imagine if the one followed it in that'd be sick 
I don't. I'm still not sure if the two ball passes actually if, 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 if it's makeable. I think it is. Yeah. It's real close. Right now, safety. Try to put the one ball, two, three rails behind the ten, eight, six, and two. There's like some good wall to hide the one ball. He's looking also on overcutting the one, playing cubo two, or either two or three rails behind the two and six. Also, the eight ball might help. Oh yeah, you could cut the one into the eight. No, not into the eight. Just you mean off of the rail, it might help. Like yeah, if the one goes this way. Yeah, yeah. I mean, playing into the first diamond. I mean, just miss the eight. Leave the one ball and the short rail. I think that's he's paying this one. Oh no. First option. Windows open. Yeah. Yeah, that was the risk of this shot. So now good chance for Daniel to make good safety. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful shot. Right there. Alright, Vitaly, you've done this once already. Here probably he doesn't want to make this one. <laughs> will be hooked on the tubal most likely just play it with the stun one rail try to what about well try to kick the me, the the one ball on the right side i mean lower side from the camera and go with the cue ball on the bottom part of the table I mean, but still, the most important is just to hit the one. That's probably what he wanted to do, hit the one the ball, side, yeah, yeah, the bottom side of the one ball, but right now it's just all about, I mean, always here, here it's a tricky, but here's the key shot. Actually, it's a smart choice to play the two ball to the left upper corner. Because if he misjudge a bit position to the two ball, he can still play the easy safety behind the six. You stick him right there. Oh. Maybe. Ooh. Nervy spot <laughs> here. I think he the should go is for easy it. If you go for the safe. I think he's gonna go for it. As there is no easy safety right now. He should go for it, but as there is a new cloth, he can still try to hit the rail first. Play on the pocket speed. Yeah, but oh my god. That hill hill pressure, man. Yeah, I, I know. The, that's what I told like in the beginning this all about making the good position for the tool but then I tried to 
correct myself and you know here here it's always different game but the worst thing what he could do and he did it was like playing with too much speed the cue ball from the one ball because if he would play it a bit if he would play with less speed if he came short he would still be able to play easy really easy good safety but wait wait could be better Already once he scratched the side pocket, this kind of shot. So what I would play here is just using outside spin, and two rails and six ball to the upper corner. <laughs> I can't win a, a bet to save my life. Dude had ball in hand and made one ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but 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 I told you it's like it's all because of Dominic. Oh my god, <laughs> that's ridiculous! Wow, this. Uh... I mean, I'm sorry, Dominic, but <laughs> it seems like your curse is on. <laughs> That's crazy. Just I got one wish, never bet on me. Yeah, exactly. I love <laughs> how much I love how much Victor <laughs> loves the fact that you lose all your bets, Tom. <laughs> oh, I'm, I mean it's funny because I'm in, in his group and there is always so much fun yeah. under his balls. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, we're not calling this match already. Obviously, there's there's drama to be had probably, but uh, it's still funny in the moment. Man. I mean, all, all, all joking, of course, but... <laughs> uh, Victor, you're a bad friend. <laughs> oh, that <don't really. laughs> <laughs> That was so funny. short just a hair you can get to the short rail from here though for free no no worries about the scratch just got to make the ball that's interesting that's really missable shot yeah it's he, that hill hill pressure but, i mean i was surprised that probably he was trying to play position for the uh i mean left corner instead of right one let's see what now probably i'm a fan of just playing with the low left two rails and left a bit more tough shot on the 10 ball oh he went for this one tougher aye, one aye, aye. What a match this has been. <laughs> Dominic wants to take it even. In the next match. If <laughs> wants more free money. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. There you go. Oh yeah. Daniel missed both chances. Yeah. Vitali Look took advantage. Sitting. Look at him sitting down and just taking a quick breath. The stress ain't over yet, buddy. X probably know that it was over, but it's never over until the last ball. Yes. It's made. So, yeah. But yeah, interesting match. Definitely an interesting match. It's like. 